Comic fans, hope you guys are all doing well. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. We're going to do part two of the custom bind collection overview thing that I've been doing. Um, this is going to look at all the books that are basically not Marvel or DC Comics. Um, I realize now, after having watched the first part and starting to do the second one, that I had missed some of my um, my Vertigo titles with part one. But that's alright, we'll throw them in here. Um, this is actually great. I'm really happy about this video because I've realize now how many non-big two custom binds I've got, which is great. Um, I'm really happy I've been able to accumulate this custom bind collection. Like I mentioned in part one, there are, I've got about 65 right now, 65 custom binds. A couple of them are not in my possession. I've let friends borrow them to read them, which is fine. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll briefly mention those as well. And um, yeah, uh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe check out our patreon we do hardcover comic giveaways at the end of every month we do a drawing you can win an omnibus an absolute edition new releases whatever um, we usually come to a nice little agreement with whoever wins so check that out um, there's a link down in the description below for that and we've also got merch we got mugs we got hats matt recently posted a picture of one on our instagram it looks great um, and we've got shirts as well with all the logos that we've got up until this point. So if you're interested in any of those, hit us up in, uh, via email. If you're interested in dust jackets, hit us up via email. All of that's down in the description below. Uh, but without further ado, let's look at some more custom binds, this time coming from the smaller publishers. Taking a closer look at these binds, we're going to start off with this giant, giant Valiant pile. Um, basically, what happened with me and Valiant Comics is I started to just buy the floppy issues. I wanted to support the company while they were, you know, still going strong at the time. Um, with Exo Manowar, you know, Bloodshot Salvation, Andy Diggle was jumping on Shadow Man, Quantum Minority was going to have Daniel Kibblesmith doing some work. I was very excited. Um, you know, Harbinger Wars 2, Livewire, Ninja K, um, Harbinger and Generation Zero. I'll take a closer look at Harbinger Renegade and Generation Zero as well. But what's really cool about this little collection here is there's a, a nice variety of sizes, right? That Exo Man War is my biggest custom bind. It's just sitting at around two inches. Massive book, massive book. Um, taking a closer look at the Gen Zero and the Harbinger Renegade. So I designed these dust jackets myself. Um, really liked enjoying them. There's some great artwork for these series. And, um, you know, I sort of moved away from the aesthetic that Valiant was doing for the deluxe editions that they had been releasing. Um, I don't know why. I just, I, I like, uh, I, I wanted to change it up a little bit. I like the design that they had going already, but, you know, these were already going to be smaller than Deluxe Edition, so why not? Um, just figured I would do something slightly different for them, have some fun with it. Um, Generation Zero is a great series, Harbinger Renegade, not the best series, but um, that's okay. I love, I loved me some Valiant. They had a really good run. Um, I'm going to have a couple more Valiant custom binds, but really not that many more. Um, just because the company has sort of fallen from its high and good graces. Moving on here to a, uh, a Frank Miller book, um, The Life and Times of Martha Washington in the 21st Century. So uh, initially when this book came out, I bound the trade paperback that collected the entire thing. It came out about two years ago, I think, and it was, I remember it being solicited as a hardcover and then it came as a trade paperback in the mail. Um, I think Amazon just messed up the, um, the actual solicitation. But either way, here it is. There's a desk jacket. This was made by Ben... Uh, who had made a lot of my dust jackets in the previous video. He was a, a gentleman who helped me get uh, started with dust jacket making, and then I wound up just making my own and spinning off when he quit. Um, but yeah, great book. Love this book. What a fantastic, fantastic title. I'll have to do a top five Frank Miller stories because that's definitely in there. Um, next up, Umbrella Academy. This collects the first two minis. Um, I'm going to be probably making a second bind for the um, Hotel Oblivion and uh, You Look Like Death series, along with some of the one-shots that came out, like the Hazel and Cha-Cha Christmas one. Um, you can see here at the top the, you know, the dust jacket uh, got cut short. This was totally on staples. They did all the cutting, but it's also not entirely their fault because the dust jacket design was white. And so if they're printing it on a large white paper, they're not going to know where the actual edges are. Um, this was made by Ben. And, um, you know, that's something we sort of didn't think about when we were designing it. But it's what it is. It's a really nice wraparound cover. Really like it. Great title. Love the book. Um, if I had known nice fancy deluxe editions would be coming out, I wouldn't have made this. But either way, it's done. Um, two Aftershock collections here. Really nice stuff. Um, you know, things like the minor things on the spine sometimes, you know, if you don't do books at the same time, you'll have things like the aftershock um, at the bottom being sort of on a different level. Um, things like the double lines is not a big deal. You could always add those on later. Take a, you know, already bound book, take them to a bindery and they'll do it for you. No problem. 
moving on to Northlanders. I know this is a Vertigo title. Should have been in my first part with DC and Marvel, but it's what it is. It's here. Um, I forgot about this book. Anyway, two volumes. Got a nice little simple connecting spine on here. Ben made these as well. Um, really nice front and cover designs as well, showing the volume one and volume two. Great artwork, great series. I hope there's an official release for it. I think people deserve to read the series. It's a lot of fun. It's sort of like um, a combination of min of smaller stories. There's one story, one character, a recurring character named Sven who shows up in a bunch of stories. He's awesome. Love his stories. Uh, moving on here, another Vertigo slash DC title that I missed out on in that first part is Swamp Thing. This is the Mark Millar run. Um, I believe Ben created these as well. Pretty cool. It's a different design aesthetic for the spine, for sure, the background color, but it sticks out on the shelf. I, I like it. I don't mind it. It's got that nice Phil Hester Swamp Thing. Um, which I particularly enjoy. Um, on the front, you can see here, he we pretty much just took the trade paperback covers because they were already awesome and uh, just had them made as the front. So um, great read. If you haven't read Mark Millar's run on Swamp Thing, it's really interesting. I highly recommend checking it out. Next up, top 10. Of course, there was an absolute edition for this. I wish I could buy that. It's a, it's a huge whale for me. Um, the reason I want the absolute is because Gene Ha's artwork is stupendous. It is magnificent, let me tell you. This is an Alan Moore title, really fun stuff. If you haven't read Top Ten, it's a great book by Alan Moore. Um, next up, this was actually a Haushin bind that I picked up at Planet Comic Con uh, with Matt in, I believe it was 2017. I definitely know it's 2017 as I look at uh, what's inside here. But um, graphic design, you know, I, I bought this already made. It's not like I had this bound. They made a whole bunch of these. Um, and, and coincidentally enough, at that con, Brian Brown was there. He's the creator, writer, and artist of the series. It's a really fun book. I highly recommend checking it out. There are a lot of really nice comedic touches to it. Um, so much so that he'll, you know, at the start of each issue, he'll list out the cast and tell you voices that he you should visualize in your head of, of real life people. It's really, really well done. Um, hilarious, hilarious book. And you can see the sketch he did for me here. Um, really like that. Next up, Atomic Robo. I spoke about this series. Um, great, great title. If you can somehow find those trade paperbacks or single issues for Atomic Robo. I love this series. It's so much fun. It's Hellboy. It's a, it's a sci-fi Hellboy. It's fantastic. Um, Invincible, unfortunately, you can see that there's volume two through five. Um, you know, again, little things like, you know, I don't have the, the lines at the top and bottom and then the volume numbers are off. Again, I don't really care. I had planned to do dust jackets for this, but um, a person that is no longer in my life actually admitted to me after things happened that uh, they had taken my volume one and just decided to throw it out. Um, just destroy it and throw it out. So that's a shame. I now need to get the first compendium and bind a volume one and... Uh, get my dust jackets printed i love invincible I'm so bummed that i don't have the entire series custom bound on my shelf anymore but that's uh not an incredibly impossible or difficult um thing to remedy but fantastic series seriously if you haven't read invincible go do it now one of the best titles out there um but a lot of uh, I, I can't wait to grow this non big two collection of hardcovers absolutely i'm so excited um so many great titles out there um, you know, uh, I'm starting to collect series and single issues, so we'll see what happens. 2021 year of the custom bind. Very excited to see what we make. A lot of fun stuff in there. A lot of fun stuff. There was a lot more of the non, um, the non main universe DC stuff that I, I forgot to include in part one. But you know, at this point, what can I do? I can't go back in time. So, hope you guys enjoyed part two. Let me know if you've read any of these titles. If you enjoyed them. Um, let me know what custom binds you've got going. Let us uh, whatever kind of questions you got, whatever you want to share, feel free to share it down below in the comments. Um, we appreciate you guys tuning in whenever you do. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. This is what we do on a regular basis. Custom binds is really what uh, what Matt for sure has gone uh, gone into. I personally am, am moving towards that direction as well. But we still get official releases. We still do overviews. We still do top fives, top tens, uh, must read series, things like that. Live streams are a lot of fun, man. And uh, be sure to check those out. If you're interested, subscribe. And uh, until next time, hope you guys all stay safe and sound. This was Mike from the Hardcover Comic. You stay classy, Internet.